Generic greetings and welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces. Today's beverage is a nice relaxing cup of chamomile tea. The perfect beverage to keep you in a nice relaxed and zen state while you do an unscheduled disassembly of the enemy's teeth using a sink. Either way, this is a game where you have a fight in a tight space. It's John Wick meets Slay the Spire. I don't think that's quite unreasonable. And I have featured it several times on the channel before, but not recently because, well, I hit this game quite hard and I think I put in about 20 hours in only a couple of weeks and got to a point where I'd unlocked a lot of the stuff and I thought, I'm going to give it a bit of a break. That break has now been completed and I want to jump back in and see what mainly the new deck is like. There is a new deck. So let's just jump in and I'll show you a little bit of the game. This is not any sort of uh, review or anything like that. I'm just going to play a little bit of it and try some of the new stuff. This is Early Access version 0 0.19, specifically 0 0.19.4913 because, well, that's what it shows on the left hand side. Anyway, I'm sure I want to overwrite and, ah, oh, it looks like we have a difficulty setting now which is pretty good and also a draft mode. That can be pretty good. Draft a deck from a series of card choices rather than using a pre-built deck. Wow, more options, more better. I like that. Anyway, we're going to go with a classic mode and Agent 11. Yes, that is us. So we need to select our deck. Now, there's uh, five decks at the time recording. You've got Balanced, which is the one you start with, Counter Striker, Aggressive, and then Trickster. That's what was originally in the game when it came out. And there's now been one uh, added called Slasher, which is a set of sharpened skills for an agent handy with a blade, which we're going to try out. I actually prefer Trickster and Counter Striker, although I believe my most success has been with the aggressive one. But we're going to try the Slasher deck here, and we can see that we've got uh, quite a number of cards that uh, attacks. Uh, next attack does Bleeding, so Bleeding is a new type of mechanic, and I'm assuming that that's been retrofitted uh, to the enemies as well. But anyway, we'll select that deck, and then we have to select our mission. So you've got the training, which we're not going to bother with, the biker gang, insiders, and then Jade Staff. I've got up to the boss of the Jade Staff right at the end of that and then failed so sadly I've not completed I complete I and final mission I am still of the opinion that I mean you can select any one of these you want so I can go say, and play Jade Staff but you are just skipping to it so you're missing out on all of the advances from the first two I would much prefer it to scale so we can select the order in which one it would add variation and stop it being so same if you're just sick of beating your head against loads of bikers all the time it would be uh, let's say preferable personally but anyway Death's Head Biker Gang and then we will go in and and load in. So here we are, finished our briefing, and we have to fight in the alleyway. It is a fight. Uh, targets are three, rewards are card and money, and it's weakened targets. So let's go in and let's see what we can do. I didn't see what our passive was, so I'll have to check uh, once we are in. So there we go, we drop down. If you've not seen this game, we have basically a certain number of moves in order to play the cards at the bottom and then the enemies take their turn. Uh, we have a passive of gain one bonus move card each turn, which is going to be this free movement here. Move up to two tiles, remove from hand when any other card is played. Ah, okay, so if we play anything else, that's going to go, so we need to move first. All right, understandable. Our health is 40 of 40. Our I think that's, is it Momentum? I always get these two mixed up. This is our currency. We have three in order to play these cards. And you see each card has a number on the top right there. So that's how much it's going to cost. So Caltraps is two, but it applies two bleeding to all enemies. Our objectives are to defeat all enemies, zero of three, and complete the level within six turns for additional money. That's our optional objective. We can rotate the camera and let's just see. Yeah, we've got two areas where we can instantly defeat them. If you push them out here and push them out here, then that will be a... That will be a immediate uh, removal of the enemy. So these guys are going to attack. The one at the back first, which is attacking for 6 damage. He has also 20 health. And this guy it kicks up to 2 tiles away, so kick to there. And they do 5 damage. Alright, fair enough. I can move if I want to, but I don't know if it's really going to matter. Um, we've got things like swap. I can swap there. So what I'll do is that, and that'll push him to there. I'll then go for a... I think probably, probably front kick? Front kick to there, and that'll push him back, so that means he won't be attacking me. And just because I can, uh, actually I put, should have played uh, Slash first, shouldn't I? Okay, it's been a while since i played this game, so I'm assuming there's going to be quite a number of mistakes. Anyway, that guy's getting kicked around all over the place. He currently has 9 health, so can I kill him for... Can I take him out for nine? Three punch combo. Well, actually, that would kill him. There we go. One, two, three, and they are now removed. I will then do uh, shift it over to there. I will do hidden blade, which is attack. Uh, the next attack is for bleeding. All right. 
Mm, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do puncture. No, oh, snap strike. Four damage. Increase damage by all attacks for this turn. So do that, and then that increases that for one. And then, yeah, we now apply the bleeding as well. I've actually said three bleeding, but it's only got two bleeding on there. I don't know when a, ble a bleeding is applied. I assume it's applied just before they attack, but it doesn't show us uh, what that is. I guess that's mentioned Slay the Spire meets John Wick. It also has uh, a lot of Into the Breach in here as well. Anyway, this guy's doing 11 damage. This guy's doing nothing. So I'm trying to think what we can do. Um, probably just nasty little jab. There we go. And he's down to 8. And then I can just attack him for... Hmm. I'd have to push him. Okay. Tell you what, I'll shove him to there. Ah, no, that's not going to work either. Hmm. Let's swap him. Mm, it's not going to work out. This jumping stab would be good, but it's... Sadly, it's only range 2. Range 2 to 2 rather than 1 to 2. I can push him out of the way, but he's still going to attack me. 8 damage. Oh, hang on. Shove to there. No, I'm going to have to shove him to there. And... Go there. Yeah, there's nothing much I can really do. I'll just do that, and he'll bleed, and then he's going to punch his mate. He's going to kick his mate anyway. So, there we are. He's still got seven. I'm going to do jumping stab. That takes him out straight away. And three turns to take this guy out. I could have probably stood there and done some more to this guy, but there you are. So, we'll do... What have we got here? So, he's on 11 health. Don't want a free move. Don't want to shift. Don't really want to shove. I guess I'm just going to do a nasty little jab, like that. I'll do a Caltrops, which is going to do some damage, and then Counter Strike. So he's going to hit me for six, but I'm going to... I've got, yeah, four damage if bleeding the block. Ah, basically, he's going to attack me, and then I can counter him, and there you go. So he's going to die next turn anyway, so I'm just going to end the turn, and then he dies, yeah. So I just wanted to do that to find out exactly when that bleeding applies. So the bleeding applies before they do their attacks. So we've got uh, both objectives complete rated. So new card and we've got 30 generic units of currency. We're going to go with for our our reward slip, which allows us to move through or around the target. The next fight is either in an alleyway or in the restroom. Both are pretty much the same, so I'm going to go with the restroom, just because it's a slightly different one. And I'm just looking ahead of that, so I'll see where we're going in terms of uh, medical or, or the gym. Medical heals up, gym, you can get improvements to your cards or new cards if you want to as well. So this guy's going to punch. No, he's not. He's not doing anything at all. If I went there, he would, though. This guy, Tire Iron. Strike for six damage. If any damage is unblocked, add an injury card to the target. Right. Um, so I don't particularly want to get hit off that. <laughs> hit damage. And I can't block. There's nothing I can really do can swap with the enemy and put him there but then he's still going to be looking at me and ready to take me out and if I free movement to there this guy's only range I range one or two yeah I'll tell you what I'll do then I'm in no hurry I'm going to do a Shove. Just shove him to. Ah, oh, actually, I could shove him there. Nah, no, I'd rather shove him there, and that does four damage. I want to do. Scratch. There we go. That's five bleed. Three piece combo. Then swap myself to there. And then in the turn, and he bleeds to death. Right. That worked out quite nicely. This guy is here. Short range punch. Okay. I think... Snap strike. A little bit of damage, but increases damage for the rest of the ones. So let's just punch it. Just keep attacking, really. Good quick block. I 
can just move to there. And there we are. Both going to turn at first, yep. Hmm. This is a problem. I can't move through someone now. I have got a shift though. Move past the target. Yeah, I can move past the target if I need to. Okay. Shift to there. Do a slash. And hidden blade for the next attack. That'll do four bleeding. And it should turn over to the next next one. So that guy's got two. He's gonna kick two tiles away, do five and a push. Don't really want free move. Slip behind him. Four bleeding from blocked. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kick him, push him back. That applies the four bleed. I'm gonna do puncture. Take him up to yeah, two extra damage takes him to three, four bleeding. And then slip to there. Then that guy will bleed out. Yep. Two turns to take them out with the bonuses. It's not going to happen. Free movement over here. Little jab. And... Count the stab. Quick block. End the turn. Ah. Didn't count for the pushback. Alright. He's still bleeding out. I guess go there. Shove him into the wall. Uh, actually, in the toilet cubicle, he, he gets taken out. Uh, shift to there. We're going to do... Snap Strike. Not going to get, sadly, the bonus money. But, no drama. And... There's a lot of bleeding on that. Seven bleeding. So, he's dead this turn. Well, he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. <laughs> okay, new card. Um, oh, straight away throw punch. It uh, stuns them. All right, straight at the restroom, because that's the next one we have to follow on to. So, it's a bit like the Trickster deck, in that it's not really about a lot of direct damage and such. It's like damage over time, which is... Yeah, something for quite difficult for me to get used to. This is all manner of problematic. I'm going to go there, just so those guys are attacking each other. That just makes it easier for us. I will do a... Shove. And I'll shove him to there. That just causes a bit of damage. I'll swap. Then I'll do a... Scratch, which is a bit of damage, and then a throw punch, which is a stun, so he won't shoot me. And then you can see they're just attacking each other now, which is brilliant. The ranged guys with the pistols, they do 10 damage, so it's uh, great for that. So, this is going to cause... This is going to be all manner problematic. I'm going to shift. No, I don't want to shift. Hmm... I definitely want to take this guy out, and I can do that with a jumping stab. That free movement will be gone, but then I will get a shift, a shift so I can move further onwards. This doesn't cost any points, shift costs one, so I have two remaining. So I could do hidden blade and three punch combo. There you go, so that's gonna... <laughs> 12. That is so powerful. I just realised. That's so powerful because the card says next attack deals four bleeding if unblocked. But the attack was not... Yeah, the attack was do three damage three times. Okay, I'm not too sure whether that's intended or not. Either way... Uh, how do I get out my discard pile? There we go. So... Go over here, take this guy out. 
he's gone. And then shift to there. And then that guy will die. Already half them. This is working out. Hmm. Right, I do have a slip. So I'm going to do... Nasty little jab. He's got five health left. That's going to take him to one health with two bleeding. So this this, this guy left. Um, I'm going to do... Counter stab. And then slip closer. Because this guy's only going to attack me for six. I'm blocking for six. And it means I can hit him back. Pulls a knife out of nowhere. And yeah. There we go. Right. Snap strike. We should be able to take him out. Yeah. Front kick. And there we go. New card and get a five combo, so we're good for that one. We have more rewards. Spin kicks, taunts, slip. I'm going to go for slip. I think movement is the main one for me. We're going to go... We don't need to go to medical. Restore health, increase maximum health, or remove long-term injuries. Only the increased maximum health is useful, so we're going to go to the gym. And I'm going to go to upgrade cards. And I'm going to upgrade... Which is the one I use the most often? If you upgrade jab, it does five damage instead of three. If I upgrade, say, slash... Oh, it doubles everything. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're upgrading that card. And there's me out of money. Right, okay. Uh, we will close that and then over to the bar. Alright. We need a way, I think, to... That looks like that. Looks like there's a delve in there from that angle. It looks as if that, that it's going down that floor. Strange. Anyway, yeah, it, it's about causing this damage over time, but I don't know if I'm actually doing that really well. You would think you'd spread on a couple of enemies and then work from there, but I don't know. Anyway, we have a biker here who's got nine defense. Nine block, should I say. This guy, Chonk, he's going to do a big sweep strike, and the pistol thug's going to shoot as well. So basically, <laughs> what I want to do is... Just get out the way, and this guy's going to get belted. He's going to go to there. Mm, he's doing eight damage. Well, I'll move to there. I'll do a slash. Like that. I'll do a shove into his friend and both take four damage. Now that we'll throw a push to stun him. And then this guy is just going to get absolutely plastered. So he's going to get shot, and then he's going to get hair made. <laughs> and he's down to five health. That's through all of his. That's through all of his um, defense as well. Not, oh, this guy is attacking, so he's going to be dying. This one is two. If I do. Hmm. I want to do. I want to do caltrops. And just apply bleeding on everybody. That'd work out. But if I do Caltrops first, it's not, and I'm going to lose this free movement, but then my other one's going to have to be that. So I definitely don't want to be where I am now. Free movement then to there. And Caltrops. And then. Basically, there's nothing else I can really do. I could do a front kick, but I'll be in the melee of this guy, and that's something I really... I'm not too bothered about. Uh, too bothered about. I could shift over to here just for next turn. That, that'll put me in a slightly better position. So these are all bleeding out, which is good. And then he's going to... Oh, I thought that guy was going to hear maker. Apparently not. So this is where it starts getting a bit complicated, because I can hardly see everything what's going on. This guy is going to bleed out, assuming bleed doesn't come off block first, which I'm, I'm hoping that's correct. This guy is not going to. But what I can do is puncture because it pierces armour. I believe that is the right call. 
So puncture him. Like that. He should have three bleed. Yes. Mm. Don't need to do anything with him. He's dead as well. Hidden blade for next turn. And then slip past... Ah, uh, slip. I'm just going to have to slip away like that. And... There we go. And... <laughs> <laughs> they just those just fall down brilliant okay move around no it's fine hidden blade will do jab because it's unblocked that's 8 bleed I'm gonna slip back over and do a throwing star which is range 8 so he's got 10 bleed on him. So he's just bleeding out now. Free movement. I just need to get out the way. I really just need to get out the way. What's he going to hit for? Oh, 5 times 12. Being in the corner here is not working out for me. I'm going to have to try and move. I don't think I'm going to be able to though. Nah. This is bad. I just do what I can. Get some block. More bleeding on the guy. And then I'm gonna get hit. Ow! So. Oh! Wasn't actually that much. So what am I going to do now? Can I swap? I can swap. I'll swap with him. He's got to four defense. I'm going to front kick this guy. Because it's just so much damage. So he's, he's dead. Actually, he might have been dead before I did that. Swap him. And block slash yeah did that in the wrong sequence that guy's dead but I do take a little bit of damage down to 30 and three piece combo there we go got everything stun dart pretty good apply nine damage deal two stun separate push enemies adjacent not too mm, oh 12 block let's have a 12 block we got an event or a tattoo studio we're gonna go for the event so, it says, looks like major structural damage to the building. You might be able to grab something before the building collapses. Grab the laptop, which is gain 100. I'll grab the medical kit, gain 10 health. Oh, if I gain 10 health, I can ignore the medical. Because I'm back up to full. Or I can gain the 100 and then heal up. But I, I think healing is 60. I, I don't actually I know how much exactly the medical is. I'm going to grab the medical kit. Oh, but I lose some money. I'm going to lose the health. Just so I can go to medical and find out what it is. Heal is 40. Gain 15 health. Okay. Right. So that's... Yeah, I can see it goes up in stages. Right. Fine. And over to event. Drunk man at the bar tells you he will unlearn your bad habits in exchange for a drink. Why would I want to do that? I've not got any... Cards I want to remove. Right, over to parking. See what parking is. And lots of lots of cover for the enemies to take here. And this could be a problem. This guy is a welder. Charge up with three tiles, ten damage, gains twelve block. Arg. Okay. I really want to. Keep the pistol thug alive. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Right, I'm just going to try and take pistol thug out. So slash. There we go. I should have done this one first, actually. Right, that's him dead. Actually, I could have just done that as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, lots, lots of damage there, as you can clearly see. 
I'm going to move next to this guy and see what this is. Again, in the way. Does 10 damage, but doesn't do a pushback, it just says charges three tiles. A front kick, it won't really do anything. If I moved out of there with a free movement, it's not going to work out either. I'll tell you what I'll do though. I'll free move back there. Ah, darn it. <laughs> I thought I'd still have that momentum, but no. Now I can do it though. Like that. And that gets through. Yep, yeah, and applies bleeding. One of those. And then slip back. Just in case. Right. This is going to help me out a little bit. So, yeah, that's really problematic. Uh, I need a slip. Yep. Yeah. Throwing star. Six damage, two bleeding if unblocked. No. A lot of it's unblocked, you see. I'm just going to slip to there. Going to do hidden blade and then scratch. That should be nine bleeding. Nine bleeding. Brilliant. Let's do a quick block because why not? Lots of bleeding going around there. There's only this guy I have to worry about. I could probably take him out. to do 8 damage in total. Ooh. Caltrops. Ignores block. That'd be good for me. Right. I think Jab would, well, Jab would do 3. Shove would do Oh. Okay, yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 8, 9 bleeding. Yep, we're going to do that. So... Shove him to there, like that. Both cars, both get four. Nasty little jab. Caltrops. Um, don't really need to swap. I'll just end the turn and then he should die. Yep, calculations are correct. And this fella. I guess. <laughs> Free movement. Caltrops again. Shift past the fella. Nasty little jab. <laughs> There's no reason, really, other than it keeps my momentum up. Uh, yeah, if I scratch, it's just going to cause bleeding. But every time I do that, I'm getting this up, so that's fine. But we're not going to get the optional three turns. It's, it's not happening. This is where you... I've got two slip cards. I'll just try and take this guy out. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what the best course of action is. I think this is just a bit of a dead turn, this one. Free movement to there. Slip to there. Jumping. And there we go. Snap strike. Yeah, that's going to help out. He'll be dead next turn. Yep, he is. Alright. Free movement to... Here. Front kick. If I had one more pushback, I could just push him out. Push him out. Oh. Actually, we can do some a bit... Yeah. Pretty good here. Shift to there. Slash, like that. Throat punch, because he's got no armor now. Brilliant. Is that guy's dead? A one turn to take this guy out. Can I do it? He's bleeding for five. Ignoring block, that's good. Oh, push him out. Ah, darn it, no. I go to there, and then shove. <laughs> Just shove him out. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the Weldon Mask goes over there. Okay, new card. Uh, upgraded card as well, and 60 generic units of currency. Combo counter, dash, and caltrops. We're going to go with the improved caltrops. We'll go for the event. Uh, only clue left at the crime scene is a discarded matchbook. It points to a nearby bar. It's a giant uh, cliche who have <laughs> even has matchbooks these days. Uh, so don't do it. Oh, follow the clue. It's 75% to gain 50 or 25% to start a fight. I'm going to try and do it. I gain 50 generic units of currency. And then alleyway, then medical, then bar. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. Didn't intend on going for the boss on this one. Didn't think I'd actually get there, but we'll give it a go. Things are starting to fall into place now. Um, okay, so both these are going to attack me. I'm going to... Ah, okay. This security guy here has got auto attack, so if I move in his space, he will auto attack me. I... Free movement. Oh, if I have a kick, that was brilliant. Because I just kicked this guy out of the, out of the. Um, these don't have auto attack, but they do attack within range too, so they're not going to attack each other. So I just need to put some damage onto this goon and then move out the way, really. So I need to do slip, and yeah, pretty much that. Okay. So hidden blade slash. That should be it bleeding. Yep. So he's dead in two turns. I'm just moved to there to be honest and end the turn and he can bleed. So he's gone he's gone this turn, I don't need to worry about him. And oh that's even better. So this guy. I do a front kick. I can advance and push or not. All traps are really good as well. Three bleeding to all targets. He's going to do eight damage though, and I can't stop it. Free movement to there. Just get out of the way. All traps to everybody. Why not? End the turn. Just get bleeding on everybody. That's the that's the aim of the deck. I think they were in the trickster deck. Oh, we could be wrong about that. This guy, though, is in a bit of a naughty area. Now, if I stay and attack this fella, I will get attacked. So I'm going to do free movement to there. I'm going to do... Keep that up. Nice little jab. And then shove this guy into there. So they're just going to attack themselves and throw punch him. He turns to face, but he's stunned. I was the bleeding and more attacks. Yeah, so this is damage over time now. Going very well. Although I am very much <laughs> in the hurt locker here. I'm going to pull, pull back to there. If I didn't, the auto attacks would kick off. I'll throwing star him. And. Sadly, I can't do anything really. Just do a quick block. Just end it. Let the bleed go. Turn me on. There's all the attacks as well. There's another caltrops. Just do it. Free movement there. Caltrops. Slip. And that. Just watch them all take loads of damage over time. I'm not going for time now. Really. Oh, to be fair, to get an 8 combo, we're on 0 anyway because I've been moving so much. Hmm. He's dead. He's gonna die. He's very close to dead. Kick him out the way. Some four. Yeah, if I move in, I'm gonna get attacked for five damage. Let's do counter stab, and I'll swap to there. Ah, right, shame. Didn't, didn't realise it was a push. But there's them pretty much getting taken out. Not going to get this three-piece combo, so... Yeah, just slash. There we are. New card. Max health, but didn't get that combo. Tackle. Improvisation. Or block. Tackle. Pushing me 
Push back enemy, knock down, apply 12 damage. Tal behind must be empty, gain a combo. That seems pretty good. Over to medical. And I'm going to increase max health a couple of times. There you go. Could have gone for the gym, but mm, maybe that would have been the better option, actually, the gym, and improve some of my cards. Yeah, I think it would have been. Misplay, misplay. Falling apart at the end. <laughs> so anyway, this is the person we need to take out. This is the biker boss, and it is literally as soon as he gets taken out, that's it. But I'm going to... Uh, free movement to there. I will tackle the guy <laughs> there. Oh, that's cool. He goes straight down. Why does he turn to face me? I don't know why he turned to face me. That was curious. But anyway, he's on the ground. Um, ah, can I not do anything about that? Right, okay, weird. Even when he was on the ground, I can't do anything there. All oh, right, should have done a little bit of other damages and stuff first. Um, complete level in seven turns. I think it's gonna be that. It's gonna be puncture. And then we'll slip out of the way and let them deal with each other. Big boss man's in. him away then I will be attacked off this guy which is going to do 16 damage don't like the idea of that but I do like the idea of this guy taking 10 from a, getting shot mm. wherever I move I'm going to get hit so I'm going to just Pop him to there. Quick block. Snap strike. Child trips. It's the least damage, and also that guy's gonna basically be taken out. Ah! Ah, forgot about the attack order. So he is. Yeah, he's been taken out. Right, free movement here. Uh, he's gonna be calling stuff in. So, but he's not attacking. So it's all about just doing as much as I possibly can here. So, nasty little jab. Slash. Three punch combo. And Caltrops. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. He's going to call loads of mates in. Yep, there they are. I mean, I say mates. I don't know what their friend status is. Um, right. Alright. I don't know what to do here. I think, quite frankly. Shove him to there. He's going to attack his mate. Jab. Front kick. Broad punch to stun. He's got all this bleed on him. He's gonna get attacked off his friend. Yeah, this is pretty pretty much over with. Uh, but yeah, three piece combo. There you go, that's it. And defeat the boss, new enhancement, and complete the level within eight turns, 20 health. So we got distraction. Oh, so you can select them now. That's pretty good. Reduce income damage from attacks by three. Gain 25 health when healing at medical facilities and deadly deal. Lose three health every turn, but restore health to maximum at the end of every fight. Oh, that's pretty good with 50 health that I've got. Yeah. See, I wouldn't normally pick that because, well, I normally go for card. I try not to use the health as a resource to lose. I try to just keep it as high as possible and um, take my time. But, with, I wouldn't say accidentally going to the the medical, but by going to medical instead of the gym and increasing my health to 50, losing three every turn, but then fully healing is uh, perfectly fine. Anyway, that was Death's Head Biker Gang, and actually quite a decent run through. Nice. Lose three health every turn, but restore health to maximum at the end of every fight. Brilliant. Well, there you go. That's been a bit of fights in tight spaces. Quite enjoyed that, and I like that. I actually quite, quite like the new deck. It took a little bit of getting used to, I'll be honest. And I'm being messed up with a couple of bits by the draws. Certainly, moving that the whole move first or lose it is 
you know, very situational. Those are a lot of these cards, really. As soon as you start getting those Cal Traps though, and spreading that damage out, that's really good. And also, the ones that can go through armor. Armor seems to be the thing, the defense, rather, seems to be a big problem. Yeah, getting through that block. Either way, not bad. And I'm going to keep trying this deck. It's... Mm, Trix is still probably one of my favorites. Trickster and, uh, and the Counter-Strike. But then, you know, get different flavors of it and go, ah, I want to change things up and try new decks and such. So, yeah. Either way, going to continue through until we either pass or fail with this one. And I'll have a better idea of what it's like. Either way, nice to see new decks. I'm hoping to see more of that. More, more decks, more better, really. More options. And definitely would like to see uh, a, a more scalable... Uh, mission selection so you can select any ones you want so we would go to say this prison thing first but still have it scale that would be nice it would just be good variety but there you are either way that's a bit of being a bit of fight in uh, fights in tight spaces or tight in fight spaces as the overused uh, joke is <laughs> hope you have enjoyed it. if you want to see more by means let me know and I'm sure if there's any massive mistakes I've made or any things you've seen where I could have done something better then I'm sure you let us know in the comments either way I hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings